In today's video, we are going to be attempting to beat Infinity Castle by using the Wheel of Random. But as you can see, I've already done Infinity Castle on my main account. But for this, we're going to have to be on a different account. Here we are. We are on Globnar's account. And Globnar has a lot more units than me, as you can see, just because he holds on to everything. So we are going to be attempting to beat Infinity Castle by using the Wheel of Names. I have every single unit in his inventory that is mythic on the Wheel of Names, as well as farms and buffs. So this should be super duper fun. But to explain the rules, basically what we're going to do is every 10 rooms, we're going to spin the wheel for all six of our units. Once we use a unit, it is off of the wheel. And then if we need to, by room 100, we'll go ahead and put the names back onto the wheel. So get straight to the wheel. So here we are on the wheel. Get all of our units here. Spin the wheel. Our first unit is Guts. So our first 10 rooms are going to be unbelievably easy. Our second unit is Jokujo Serious. Okay. Unit number three, Jokujo Serious again. All right. For duplicates, he has duplicates of many units, so I will actually use the duplicate on my team. Our fourth unit is gonna be Aku. Hopefully we can get somebody who can hit air early game. We actually got... Oh, we got Dazai. There we go. That is great for our first 10 rooms. We can take the shields off of enemies. And now it's time for our last unit. Who do we get? Asuna. Okay. For our first team, we have... Guts. We have... Who Doku Joe Sirius is. We have Asuna, we have Aku, and we have Dazai. Let's get this started. All right. So obviously these first couple rooms are going to be very, very easy. So I will see you guys at the end of each room. Here we are, wave 15 of room number one. Technically, room number two is we are doing this on hard mode to make the challenge a little more difficult. Since the enemies will have much more health and not easily get one shot by whatever unit we send at them. So, so far it's going pretty good. Um, obviously, zero struggle since we got lucky enough to get guts here. But it is on to the next room. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to comment down below if you'd like to see a part two. In today's video, we are going from room one to room 50. And then if you guys want to see a part two, we will go from room 51 to 100. So let me know down in the comments below. But I will see you all at the end of room three. And there it is, room three. Easy peasy clear. Room number five is about to be beat. Guts makes these uh, first couple rooms unbelievably easy. So... Hopefully we'll get a bit more of a challenge on room 7, or once we change up our team. See you there. Alright everybody, so these rooms are super duper easy with this team. So I will actually catch you guys once we have to change our team up. There should be only one more room after this, but I will see you then. So we have now beat room 10. As you can see, room 10 is defeated. We got our 5 summon tickets. It's time to say goodbye to this team and go right back to the spinner wheel. Here we are. Our first unit, Albedo. Okay. Second unit, Tengen. Third unit, we get Griffith's Unevo. Okay. Fourth unit, we have Mammy. Nice. Fifth unit. It's Hachi. And our last unit. Heathcliff. Alright. So, pretty good. A 
let's go ahead and set up our team. So our team is Albedo, Tengen, Griffith Unevo, Mammy, Hachi, and our last unit is Heathcliff Evo. So here we go. I will catch y'all at the end of our room or whenever we start to struggle. Yet again, another extremely easy Infinity Castle room. Pretty light with Tengen. Once we start getting airs, I am going to be a little worried. So hopefully our uh, our third spin team will be able to handle them. Because if not, I'm going to be screwed. Like, I don't stand a chance. Because we're going to need somebody who can get hybrid quickly, like Hamura. And a farm. We're going to very badly need a farm, that's for sure. But on to the next room. And there we have it. Our next room cleared with ease. Nice and easy. So, Tengen's holding up pretty well here. Not having a farm is getting a little stressful every now and then, but overall, I mean, we're pretty good. There's no errors. The second we get errors, though, this is going to become a real struggle. So, on to our next room. And there we go. That was a bit of a struggle for this room, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Tengen is holding out okay here. He's not the greatest overall, but got to just keep going. This room was way, way, way easier compared to the others, I'm not going to lie. It was, uh, I just went ahead and upgraded Heathcliff and it made it a thousand times easier. So, the next couple rooms, I think that's what we're going to focus on is just maxing out Heathcliff instead until we got to deal with errors. So, for this room, it actually is, um, Hollow World, which means there is errors that we have to deal with. Once we beat this room, we do get to respin our team. But our, my strategy here is to have Heathcliff do the main bulk of the damage at the front and then have Mammy hybrid by the time errors spawn. I doubt it's possible without farms. We will have to see. So, uh, wish me luck, y'all. Okay, so we are about 8,000 off of getting Mammy to hybrid. For some reason, there's no errors at the moment. I thought there was and there should be. But I'm honestly not too sure why we don't have any airs here. Our main issue is that our Mammy only does 16k. Yeah, there's the flying unit. So the flying units just spawned. So I should be able to get enough money by the time this ends that I'm able to get Mammy to hybrid. But these other enemies are starting to pose more and more of a threat here. Since they're all armored and just causing a bunch of issues. So uh this is gonna be a this is gonna be a close room, that's for sure. Alright everybody, so because of the fact that our Mammy was not leveled up, we are unable to actually kill these heirs here. Which means we're probably going to die. Because I don't get enough money from uh, everything else. We got one enemy that's about to go through with 3k. And these guys have 3k, 9k, and 22k. So we do not have the health to spare in order for us to... Take care of these guys, which really stinks. So we're gonna go ahead and respin the wheel to select our new team. So I will catch you guys in the lobby, and we're back to the wheel. Okay, so we are back in the lobby, and it is now spin the wheel time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and spin the wheel here, and then show you guys our team after. I'm not gonna make you watch me spin all five characters again because that takes forever, and. We're basically just repeating room 20. So from here, we're going to go to room 30, hopefully with the team that we got, and then we will revamp our team. All right, so we managed to get ourselves a very strong team. Our last spin, we did get Guts. As you guys can see, right here on our wheel of names. Results, we got Guts, but we're going to go ahead and spin again, just because I feel like it's a little unfair to use Guts for a second time, since he is extremely strong. All right, we got Golden Frieza again. Well, we can't do that, so we got to spin. I was hoping we could get Gojo. That time stop is very, very helpful. So, power. All right, I mean, that works. Power does decent damage. So, there we go. I will catch you guys in Infinity Castle. Well, we got extremely lucky here with our, uh, our wheel spins. So, luckily, this Golden Frieza will take care of all of our airs pretty much until we spin the wheel again. So... I'm going to go ahead and go through those rooms, and I will actually catch you guys after we are done with them, and it's time for the next wheel spin, because obviously with this team that we have, these runs are going to be a little bit easier than they were using the previous team, so 
I will catch you guys at room 30. All right, everybody. So we have officially made it to room 30. We are a third of the way there. However, that is where I'm going to end off today's episode. This is part one of three, but only if you guys want to see it. So if you want to see more of this series, don't forget to like and comment down below to let me know that you want to see it. And of course, hit the subscribe button while you're there. It's literally right there. Just press it. But other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year. But for that to be possible, you guys have to drop a sub. So if you're looking to support the channel, please drop a sub, like the video, and comment down below what you enjoyed.